Are you looking for a career as a journalist? Well, if you are, I have the one piece of advice that is going to change your life forever. And here it is. Do not get a master's degree in journalism. It is a terrible idea. And this video is about why. Now, think about it this way. The average cost of a journalism degree in America is between $47,000 and $63,000 per year of tuition. Meanwhile, the average salary of a journalist, as you can see in this graph, is only $35,000 a year. There is a complete disconnect between our educational system that pushes the exciting career of journalism and the important work that we do uh, with the financial reality of what it means to be a working journalist. Taking out loans is going to completely ruin your career. I mean, just think about it. You're making $35,000 a year right out of college and honestly, probably quite a bit longer. And yet you are straddled with $120,000 in debt. Maybe also there were living expenses that you had to afford while you were getting that degree. That is a huge burden that you are going to have to deal with as your career takes off. There's also some things that are typically not taught in journalism school that you absolutely need, these vital skills if you're gonna navigate the career of a working journalist. The first one is you need to understand the business of journalism before you get into it. Now, most people get into journalism because they wanna make a difference in the world. We have important things to say. We are witnesses to history as it unfolds and you know, you need people to be on those front lines or else what does anyone know about the world? Unfortunately, in order to get to that position where you're out there and you're actually talking to people, you need to have a certain amount of business sense. And this is just not taught in J schools. There is no discussion about how journalist makes money, especially as a freelancer, which you're probably gonna have to do if you're entering into journalism. Uh, they don't teach you in general how to write pitches, which is like the primary focus of any uh, freelance writer is that before your story ends up in a magazine, you have to ask the magazine if they're willing to publish your story. That means you have to write a letter that explains why your story is important. And often that skill is completely overlooked in J school programs. In addition, once you submit your story, there's a contract that's involved that if you don't go over it, if you do not read it, if you do not understand it, uh, these giant conglomerate media organizations are going to be sure that you get the raw end of the deal. Again, this is not a skill which is typically included in J school curriculums. These are skills you have to learn once you're out in the field actually doing this. And this is the reason why J schools don't teach you these skills is that if you're paying more than $100,000 for your degree, they don't want you to understand the nuts and bolts of this operation because it's clearly a terrible investment in your future to start off with such crazy amounts of debt. Once you learn the business of journalism, you realize that this is possibly the worst investment into your career. <laughs> they don't want you to drop out and not pay them their money. And there's another problem with J schools, which is endemic to the programs that I've seen around the world, which is that most J schools do not hire faculty who are working journalists. Many people have PhD degrees uh, in journalism, which whatever that is, I do not know. I mean, do you really want someone teaching you how to be on the front lines of like a war correspondent or covering a political debate if their degree is in like 19th century print literature? No, you don't. You want somebody who's worked for the New York Times, someone who's worked for the Washington Post, somebody who is on, I don't know, Fox News or CNN or any of the big players out there or has written books and been a successful person in the field. Most J school professors are not actually working journalists. And this is a huge problem. If you are going to be doing a degree in a program, uh, you want to work with people who have the pedigree that 
uh, you eventually want to emulate. There's no reason to take a course from somebody whose dissertation was on 19th century print literature when you want to be a war correspondent or covering a debate or whatever it is that you might want to do. And because academic programs are structured in such ways that people who have tenure generally stick at the top of the totem pole, this has been very weird. I have seen many very good journalists, some who even have Pulitzer Prizes, get kicked out of journalism programs because the people who are actually making the decisions do not want credible journalists teaching their students because they will become irrelevant. This is like a problem in academia in general, but it gets really, really bad in these trade schools. Now, if you do want to be a journalist, there is no reason that you should not get a advanced degree. In fact, if you want to be a like a well-respected writer, why not get a degree in biology or genetics or epidemiology or political history or my degree, which is anthropology? These other programs give you a breadth of understanding that then you can apply to the articles that you write. Whereas if you have a master's degree in journalism, well, what do you really have? Um, you've studied the thing that you are writing about. Look, that doesn't give you any content experience. Way, way better to have like a JD or an MD even, or a degree in astrophysics if you want to be a space journalist. Um, and then you apply those things that you have, that, that very significant expertise you have to the thing that you're writing about when you start pitching to magazines or TV programs or anything like that. I mean, honestly, freelancing for two years, uh, you know, with all of that money that you would have spent normally, you can just invest that $100,000 into yourself and you will come out of this time period with real experiences, um, talking to newsrooms, talking to editors, and you will essentially be an apprentice into a real and viable career. If you just graduate with your master's degree uh, in a little printed frame, that's not going to... Uh, you know, launch your career into a new state. All it's going to do is be another person with another useless degree that they overpaid for uh, than uh, something that will actually open a door and get you into, say, the uh, ground floor of the New York Times. Once you make your stories and they get noticed, you will um, hopefully start to create that foundation that will make your career real over time. So my last piece of advice is that I have this whole free YouTube series called The Fine Print, which I will link to in this finishing screen. If you want sort of more nitty gritty advice, it's all there. Just remember, do not go to graduate school. Watch that video.